Most people think that there's just kind of simple water vapor and that there's flavorings that taste good, but there's so much more. Fueled by a combination of clever marketing and the misconception that safer than tobacco is the same as safe, doctors say e-cigarette use among teens has reached epidemic proportions and they're worried about what the cute names conceal. Things like nickel and tin and lead, these are heavy metals that can cause direct damage to the lungs. Dr. Thetika Rao is a pediatric pulmonologist at Children's Health in Dallas. So when he starts vaping, I'll start vaping. She joins a chorus of health professionals urging parents to warn their children about vaping. Because the nicotine that's contained in these products is very potent, and the potential for nicotine addiction is so much more in young people compared to adults. 17-year-old Tristan ended up in the ICU at Cook Children's in Fort Worth this summer on a ventilator. Machines were keeping him alive. Tests confirmed that he hadn't picked up a bug, but he had been vaping. You know, I woke up about 6, 6.30 the next morning, just throwing up everywhere. My heart, I could just feel my heart just pounding out of my chest, you know, going 100 miles an hour. And I couldn't, you know, I was doing these really quick half breaths. I really could not get the full breath in, even with the inhaler. Weak and still recovering, Tristan has sworn off vaping, and he's now working to warn others. And, you know, obviously I was embarrassed at first, but really once, you know, once I realized that, you know, I was going to make it through and I was given that second chance, I just kind of wanted to, like I said, I just kind of wanted to give that warning out to people.